Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to yet another review and this time I am taking a look at Frozen which is a brand new Disney 3D animated film and I was really looking forward to this film. Now, earlier in the year they released a trailer where it was just a snowman and he was goofing around and stuff for this movie and I thought the whole movie was going to be about the snowman so to be honest I didn't like that trailer. I thought it looked very, I don't know, not good, in my opinion. I, I love animated films, I really do, but that one just did not look that great. So I wasn't looking forward to it at that point. But then they actually started releasing trailers for the movie and what it was actually going to be about. And I actually started getting more excited. I thought the animation looked great. I think the humor was really good. And hey, I loved I loved stuff like Tangled and Wreck-It Ralph and stuff. So you know what? Hey, Disney's back. They're doing 3D animation. That's fine with me as long as it's good. What did I think of Frozen? Let's talk about the story. The story for Frozen follows Anna and Elsa, who are two sisters and the daughters of the king and queen of some kingdom. I'm not, I'm not sure. But it follows them, and they're two sisters in the beginning as kids, and you can see they love each other. They're having a good time and stuff. But there's a little secret with Elsa's character. She can manipulate ice, and she can like she has ice powers pretty much. And something bad happens in the beginning where they actually have to make it so that Anna, the other sister, doesn't remember that Elsa has these ice powers so for the next like few years of their lives they don't really hang around too much they don't really have a bond anymore so later on Elsa is going to become the queen uh, you know because no spoilers uh, but she's about to become the queen and then everybody in this the, the kingdom I guess realizes that she has these ice powers she freaks out and then starts creating ice and stuff and about to hurt people and everybody's like oh get, get her out of here and Elsa's like oh, okay and she runs away and of course Anna feels like she's responsible so she goes after Elsa but of course Elsa says screw that I'm gonna be a villain now and she's creating all this stuff but of course Anna has to get her back because she also created a never-ending winter in the kingdom that you know she's supposed to take over and of course you know a bunch of weird stuff happens they meet a snowman they meet a, a dude with a freaking reindeer and it, you know that's the story <laughs> so the story seems very disney i mean it has princesses it has romance it has music it has colors it definitely has that but what i really like is that it is enjoyable all the way throughout and i will talk about what i really liked a little bit later on but what I also liked is that the story itself, even though it is very standard from, you know, point A to point B pretty much, there are moments, very small moments, where it, it's not really twisty. I wouldn't say it's a big twist or something, but they take your expectations from, you know, seeing all these other Disney films, and then they go, oh, you think that's going to happen? Well, you know what, we're going to make it a little bit different here. If you see the film, you might know what I'm talking about. You might not. I don't explain things well, but that's how I feel. I think they did a good... Thing with making it a little bit twisty just a little bit but the story is very enjoyable all the characters are really likable especially the main two characters Elsa and Anna you get that real you get you get a real bond with them you can tell that they you know they love each other in the beginning and of course Elsa has to you know move away from her sister you know not bond with her as much because of course I don't want to spoil it, but there, there's a good reason. Uh, and Anna's just like, oh, I just want to be with my sister. And you really do feel that, especially with the voice acting. Voice acting, uh, Kristen Bell and uh, Idina Menzel did a great job performing as uh, Anna and Elsa. They both do great here. The rest of the voice acting is really good as well. You have uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Gruff, who plays one of the two love interests in this film with Anna. And he's really good as well. His character is really likable. Um, you have, uh, oh, what's that boy's name? Uh, Josh Gad, who plays a snowman in this film named Olaf, who is the funniest thing in this film, but I'll talk about that in a second. But you have so many great voice, act uh, voice actors in this film. Uh, you have a, a lot of great characters. The visuals, <laughs> I'll talk about the visuals in a second. I'm going to be talking about a lot of things in a second, but yeah, the story itself is very entertaining. The characters are really likable. It's really funny, especially with Olaf, and it's just very enjoyable because of the, you know, the you know, the, it's Disney. Come on, it's Disney. It's Disney. They know what they're doing, okay? As long as they do animation. If they do stuff like, I don't know, Tooth Fairy, then maybe not. Which actually, I don't, I don't think they did Tooth Fairy. I'm not, I'm not sure, so... Sorry, Disney. Uh, anyway, this movie is really enjoyable, but what really, really made it was the, the animation in this is 
beautiful. I mean, every time a new Disney film, a new 3D Disney film comes out, I say this, but it's one of the best looking films I've ever seen. And you know what? Pixar know, knows how to do their animation, and Monsters University, and even Brave, and even Cars 2, they all looked amazing. But this film, it's not a Pixar film. I would say it looks better than all of those movies. All the snow effects, all the huge landscapes, all the really fun animations when it goes into the music, all that stuff, it looks gorgeous. It really does. And like I said, the music in this film, I, I, well, I didn't really say this, but let me say it anyway. The music in this film, every single song in this film is powerfully sung and memorable as all hell. It reminded me a lot of Tangled, where Tangled, I don't think a lot of people loved the songs in that film. I did. I loved all of them in that film. Uh, they were very quotable, very memorable. Uh, I, I didn't sing them because I'm a man, but you know what? I like listening to them. I don't care. Call me, call me a sappy douchebag. I don't care. But I love the songs in this film as well. Every single one, especially the one uh, called Let It Go, uh, performed by Adina Menzel, which I think... What's that, what's that girl's name? Demi Lovato actually did before her. But Adina Menzel freaking stole the show with that song. Oh my god, Let It Go was so good. So you can definitely expect her to be at the Oscars singing that song. It's this year's uh, Skyfall. There you go. I, I, I'll say it. It's powerfully sung and it's, it's brilliant. I love it. So the music in this is spectacular. The animation is great. It's truly hilarious. This movie is really funny, especially with Josh Gad's character, Olaf. Uh, I love this film. I really do. Frozen is another example of why Disney... I, that's I mean I love Disney. That's another reason why Disney is so awesome when it comes to big animated movies like this, not crappy live action shows or movies. When it comes to CG animated stuff and of course 2D animated stuff. I'm not I'm not going to say like shit like so, uh, Cinderella and stuff is bad, but CG they know what to do, and I love it. I really do. So there's my review. I'm going to give Frozen. I'm going to give it give it a 39 out of a 40. Really close. I love this film. So there you go. There is my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.